In this video of ASP.NET, we will work with the web configuration. Basically, you would have noticed like whenever we took a new web application in ASP.NET, there is a web.config file, which is basically an XML based file which stores the configuration for your particular website. And whenever I want to make changes in the configuration that is regarding the connection string or maybe profiles or maybe any particular issues, we can go for this XML based text file named web.config. We can have more than one web.config file in the website, but on a particular directory, we can have only one. Let's see what are the multiple hierarchy levels for this web.config means if we can have more than one web.config file how should be the process going on so the, here you can see there is a kind of inheritance thing going on like first of all on the server there is a machine.config that machine.config will basically contain all the in, uh, configurations for the websites but if you want to make some changes in your particular website in that particular server you can create a web.config in the root of your folder on the directory so basically all these configurations will be taken from this particular one but whatever changes you have done in this one will be taken like that is what we do in the inheritance in object oriented programming by default, we will take the concept from the uh, parent class that is the base class. But if we have overridden or making any changes in the derived one, we will always prefer those changes. Obviously, because th those changes will be more particular to our requirement. So this you can consider as a base class as generalized settings are there. But for the specific ones, you can take the web.config. Again, you can create the web.config for a specific website so that particular website will take the settings from all the changes from this one even in your web application you can have the web pages for different requirement for example few pages will be there which even an anonymous user can access but few pages can be used only by a particular category of uh, users so that particular uh, pages can be put on a particular directory and you can put a web.config file in that directory which will specially give the settings to those pages which are placed under that particular directory so this is how your hierarchy level going on, goes on for the configuration files that is for a particular page which is residing inside a particular folder primarily it will take the settings from this one the settings which are not available in this file that will be taken from this one again the settings which are not available on this particular file will be taken from this and similarly the settings which are not available on this configuration file will be taken from the machine.config file from the server directly